Today I'm looking at a uh, Dell Inspiron 600M. It's currently running um, Debian 8, I think, uh, LXDE environment. Um, but uh, I'm curious, uh, with the success of Windows 10 on the 8400, well, uh, well, we have success with this, and I believe we should, because it has the NX bit, which is, uh, which we should have, and SSC2, uh, how, you know, how well it will perform is another matter, uh, not exactly sure how much memory is in here, any even, so, uh, Jeez. Uh, total memory. Oh, wow. 512 megs. Let's see if I can bump that up. Currently, there are two sticks of 256 in there. And uh, looking at my pile... That stick of 512 and an unknown hmm. but uh, you know chips are on both sides so that it's a good sign of higher capacity so we'll try it let's see what happens Has it now? Six hundred forty megs. That's uh, so that five twelve has a one hundred twenty eight. Yeesh. But this is a Celeron M at one point four gigahertz. Yeah, um, Radeon 9000. It's gonna run like crap, isn't it? Well, I probably should put one of those uh, 256 back in and uh, at least have 768, I guess. That's gonna be horrible. Why am I doing this? Uh, so with the memory I currently have, um, and doing some uh, musical chairs with it. I got it up to 768. That's pretty bad. Uh, could stand for a lot more. Uh, this might not even work. Well, if it doesn't, um, you won't even see this. I won't post it. Huh. So, let's move this up. How do I change this? How do I change this? Change values. How do I change this? I want USB before, oh, uh, press U or D. Ha. Yes, okay. So, the USB stick is already in there, and it didn't do a damn thing. So, 
probably uh, take a long time. And uh, I'll go back to you if the uh, well, let's 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 see if it starts to do the uh, the spinning. I mean, this is uh, what, USB two. Uh, yeah, I should have two point USB two point Oh, and as uh, with the other video um, about the 8400, and I added it uh, for the video description, um, but just in case uh, anybody saw that, and uh, I just recently added it about my uh, choice to use 32 bits, 32 uh, bit Windows 10, um, it wouldn't run 64 bit anyway because it's missing oh uh vtx so i mean i i actually did try to uh start it you know try to install it and uh it would give me this screen and uh before the uh the circle would appear it would just reboot so it's gonna if this is actually doing anything, I do not know. Should probably put this on a uh, a USB stick that has a uh, an access light, so I can actually see if it's still reading, doing something. No, okay, you know what? I am gonna pause this for a second and uh, I'll get back with the result. Oh, okay, where to start? It's uh, been a few weeks now actually and uh, uh, it's uh, doing more research on, yes, the possibility of Windows 10 and for whatever reason, I'm still confused on, on whether or not this uh, laptop has the uh, NX or not. Uh, according to Intel, it does, but on research, they disabled it, um, and they never enabled um, NX support until uh, the third generation uh, of, of the M processors. Um, be that as it may, though, uh, I'm gonna upgrade this uh, as much as I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push it all the way up to what it can do. So instead of the Celeron M, 1.4 gigahertz, let's try a, yeah, that's upside down, a Pentium M765. That's apparently the fastest uh, this machine can take. So why not try it? Instead of that uh, horribly mismatched, oh, I thought that was a, no okay uh that memory how about yes the maximum that it can take is two gigs so two sticks of one gig uh i don't know what is that ddr uh pc uh, ddr2 5300 yeah so okay we have that uh that hard drive no how about an ssd this this is a uh this is actually parallel ATA, the, the a, a 2.5 inch uh, laptop SSD, not SATA, um, 64 gigs. Yeah. Cool. And then to round it all off, I actually have a battery for it now, and uh, I think the CMOS battery is gone, so... There it is. So uh, I will get back to you uh, with this thing uh, cracked open. How easy was that? This, uh, <laughs> you just take the, the top off 
no screws. Pull the keyboard down. The processor is readily accessible just by unscrewing the heatsink and uh, uh, assembly right there. I mean, it's that's all just one. And then there it is. I mean, very uh, very easy uh, laptop to uh, upgrade the CPU on. I think this is probably the easiest one I've ever had. Um, I mean, I don't do it often, but yeah, yeah, this this is just incredible. Um, so let me pop the new one in and uh, give it a give it a fire. Old CPU is out. New CPU is in. Right under there. Oh yeah. Um, CMOS battery. I don't know. I think I'm missing something. Uh, does it even? But uh, yeah, that doesn't match any. Like I don't know. And I'm not gonna pull it apart. I really don't care actually. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Spent too much money on a machine that uh, is not even worth it. It's like, yes, you're right. You are definitely right. So. Wow. Okay. I want to plug it in there. That's the power. No, that's the power. Hold up. Yeah, don't know what that was all about. <laughs> uh, I think, is it? Is it the battery? I, I don't know. You know what? Maybe we'll get it from the actual. Whatever. <laughs> However, here we go. Two point one gigahertz. It's a Pentium M. Two point one gigahertz. Two megs of L two cache. All right. All right. Beautiful. Now, uh, memory and, uh, hard drive. Well, okay, it's a, a few days later because, uh, while well, the eBay item, and I should have, I should have just tipped me off here. Um, though the eBay item said that it was a DDR memory. Um, and I did say it too. I did say, uh, PC... Two DDR2 memory. So, yeah, that doesn't work. So now I actually have DDR stuff that will work in here. So, yeah, I'm doing this not the best way, but. And there we go, we have one gig, or uh, two gigs. Okay, um, <laughs> finally can continue on with that, just, you know, if it works, actually. Next thing is this, and, uh, I'm gonna need to use, uh, both hands to open up the box and show it, and this is actually, this is gonna be the first time I, I, I've seen a solid-state, um, IDE, so, uh, we'll find out together. And, uh, that's what it looks like, so this will be, it's, uh, it is kind of strange. I have really good lighting, but I can see pins, you know, ADE connector on a solid state drive. That's, eh, I don't know what the quality is, but it's like the only one of two items that I saw on Amazon about it. So yeah, why not? And so it will take the place of this. What is it? Yeah. Seagate, whatever, 40 gig. So it's, I'm even going to have more space, and it just goes in, that's upside down, is it, it is, yeah, and that's where the hard drive goes in, not very difficult uh, working on these machines, and lastly, the battery, that I just pulled out, and there is a charge to it. So. 
done. Now, I have not seen that in a long time. We better recharge indicator lights on. It's been a long time since this thing had a battery, so let's see if everything uh, boots up and get into the BIOS. Hmm. Mm-mm. What does that mean? Bad memory. Oh, let me check it out. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about, but uh, I just uh, reseated the memory and it's fine. Uh, yeah, you know what? Probably was not a good idea for me to just. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Two gigs. That's the maximum. So this this uh this machine's maxed out right here. Pentium M 2.1, two gigs of uh, RAM, and we have this boot order. Where do we see what the actual device is? And I took out the battery for now. Oh, the primary hard drive, 63 gigs. All right, and uh, let's go see if uh, <laughs> Windows 10, I doubt it. I doubt it. I know that there was a, I was trying uh, doing research on it and uh, I was a little late on the uh, I'll just turn it off a little late on the boot menu thing And we're probably not going to get any farther than we did last time. So, I think when I actually get this video all, uh, you know, edited, I might even just cut that part out or at least make it a uh, two times fast or three. I don't know. I mean, I was, I was sitting at the screen for a long time and I know that doesn't, uh, that doesn't lead to a very exciting videos I'm not saying any of this these videos are exciting but even interesting but uh yeah you don't want to just keep looking at a uh, screen like this for you know a minute you know, that's not fun but uh i you know i think that confirms my uh suspicion or not suspicion but uh Oh, I don't even know what what to call it now because uh as you saw from the from the very beginning Linux says that NX is supported. Um, so I don't get that. Uh, and right now it's it's not a matter of having a, less than a gig of RAM in there when trying this before because uh, we should have actually had something by now. So um, this is not going to get XP. Um, I'm going to do the latest Windows OS that I can take, which is uh, Windows 7. So... Uh, I actually need to go get that now. Be back. All right, so uh, I decided I'll do the rest of it up here because I no longer have to be in the system. Uh, yeah, Windows 7 is going to be installed. It's actually very slow. But uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll see if, if uh, this there's any problems or anything uh but i'll cut out now and uh you know, if anything should happen uh i will bring you back 
So here is the final product. Um, Windows 7 is installed. Doing a lot of updates. And, uh, and it's working it. Um, so everything, it, it did install. Um, but let's see. The drivers for the video and the sound. Um, I had to use... I believe a oh, Windows XP driver <laughs> for the the uh, Radeon Mobility Radeon 9000. Um, so yeah, I'm able. To, you know, the the resolution's fine. Everything else, uh, it's 1024 768. That's what it can handle. That's all it can do. The only thing it can't do is um, is uh, it can't do arrow. Yes. I just want to bring this up. Uh, yeah. So it's a <laughs> rating as a 1.0. Nice. Um, 3D business and gaming. Yes. One. Aero. De I don't know. Aero desktop performance is a 1.9. Um, so this is actually the first time I'm looking at this in a this transfer rate, yeah, that's that's the uh, best number right there. Uh, the other other thing, the other uh, device driver that it didn't get out of the box was the sound, but I, I am using the Vista uh, version of it, which, yeah, well, yep, sound works. And everything else, I mean, even the modem, who really cares has uh the wireless is fine and everything that's what it's off of now ethernet and uh yeah so everything appears to be working as it should except for arrow i guess but um as it stands now i will let it continue doing all of its updates and uh there's a uh, windows 7 on a dell I think I was saying Inspiron before. Is it Inspiron? Anyway, the 600M. So after a, about a month <laughs> or so of actually starting this, uh, I'm done. So take care.